Okay, here we are in Alexander City again. I have located a bunch of trash buried along the edge of this ridge right here. But then I noticed something really odd over here. A pile of bottles that somebody had recently gone through. Hmm. I'm just hoping this isn't the same dump. But these apparently are surface finds. There's actually one good bottle here. Well, it's from Aniston from the early 50s, but it has a little bit of a chip on the base. But these were all picked off the surface. Where I'm probing, it's about two feet deep, so I have high hopes that there's going to be some 1940s stuff at least. Not all this new stuff. So let's get up here and check it out. Okay, here we are 20 feet away from there. Let's open up a hole and see what's down there. Okay, let's get some digging going. Oh my god. I just found a piece of a soda that looks like a pre-1910. Or 1910 or 11. But anyway, could it be that I have discovered a dump that is way over 100 years old? I sure hope so because I deserve it because I have been out on the road for two weeks and had bad luck most of the days. So let's keep going and see what the next bottle is. This is very strange because I could have sworn I felt a decent amount of glass in here but I'm already at the bottom and I've got a pretty big hole here. And I have not found anything, but now I am just getting to the first broken bottle. Let's see how old it looks. Oh no. Damn it, that looks like it's from the 40s. Hmm. I just found another piece of one of these square bottles with the ribs on it like I found in that other hole. I can't believe it. The first bottle out of the hole was it early soda and then everything else turns to 40s how do you explain that well I'm not giving up quite yet I have located another bottle if this one is a new one from the 40s then I guess I'll quit damn it again I always am a magnet for 1940s bottles. I don't know what it is. Okay, I filled the hole in. I'm going to check out some other spots in the same general vicinity. I mean, this bank goes all the way from here to there. So that's like 25 feet wide. So I get this whole strip to dig. And I've probed out a few spots and... Uh, I think I found a spot that feels pretty good for a test fit, but I also found another pile. But somebody actually left a Coke bottle in mint condition. I guess they got so many of these. It's an Alexander City with a large print on it, so I consider that a $5 bottle. So let's open up a hole right here because this is a good. 25 feet from that last place okay I just found this looks 40s again and this as well dang it I was hoping we'd get into an older spot okay I found a screw top Clorox it's amazing how many dumps there are in this town but they're all from the 40s I can't believe how many 1940s dumps there are in the city and they're all spread out all over the place it really makes me wonder what the heck happened to all the 1835 to 1935 stuff. That's all impossible to find for some reason, but there's just tons of 40s and early 50s. Okay, we got a cobalt blue bottle. It's kind of interesting. It's got ribs on it, but it's got a giant chip out of it, so I guess that's no good. Yeah, this dump is fairly close to downtown and we got a creek right next to it. There's actually a milk bottle just laying down there. 
and of course a big embankment over here which I have already tried probing it out and couldn't feel anything but this, this whole embankment has loads of trash I bet there's 10,000 bottles in here but who cares if they're all late 40s and early 50s yeah it's just too new and it's even newer still on the surface of course I'm talking about these everywhere I go the old trash eludes me I just don't understand it I'm going crazy other people that are beginner collectors are finding all kinds of early 1900s soda bottles and yet I can't find any okay we are still in Alexander City we're still in the neighborhood of the 1940s but I got a loaded privy over here so I want to stick around and dig it I also have another one over here could it be the husband and the wife could it be two different privies that were used at the same time I just noticed this one of these metal toilets almost completely hidden and sunken down into the ground I wonder if there could be a lid on it I'll have to get my tool and dig it my tool being my shovel well I got a foot deep hole dug right behind it and I don't feel anything I don't think it has a lid on it so let's get these previews open up over here this is like the seventh one of these I've seen out here and only one of them had the lid on them I asked Wesley well do you think people have been salvaging these for 50 or 60 years now I mean come on this one is almost invisible because it's so well hidden and yet it doesn't have one on it did people even save these back in the 50s I think so since they have such big bold embossing on them and it's advertising their city in such a nice way I think people have been saving these ever since they stopped using these outhouses in the 50s or in some cases in the 60s okay we got the first bottle coming out it's only three inches deep oh it's broken but at least it's embossed but is it a deep patent? No, it's just a patent office. It just dawned on me after all these years of seeing these metal plates attached to cement floors that those could have been built in 1935, let's say, and used till 1945, and then they couldn't move them because they are built into cement. So these are the newer privies. Hmm, could it be the opposite of the way I've been thinking about it all this time? I think so. Okay, we got another Coke bottle coming out. Broken. Dang it. Well, at least this is the one with the large embossing. What? Columbus, Georgia. That's kind of unusual. I wouldn't expect one of those to be here. Mm, I just pulled out a whole one. Let's see what it is. Patent office. That means 1951 or newer. And it is from Alexander City, just like you would expect. I just probed it twice, both times, hitting a bottle. This is a loaded privy. Okay, looks like a bleach bottle. It's a Clorox. At least it's intact, but that's a late bottle. That's definitely from the early 50s. So, I hope it goes to the early 40s at the bottom. Well, it's got a giant rock in here. It takes up almost half the privy and uh, there's another giant rock right down here and uh, it's really not that loaded well it's loaded with broken glass but 
goes another 14 inches and uh, I think I'm gonna quit because it's just this giant rock is too hard to get out and the privy is uh, still at early 50s so that is really a joke to keep digging this almost every privy digger out there would stop if they knew it was a 40s or 50s privy so I guess that's it for this one let me take you to a better spot